it's official. We're going to bring Cat Williams into the church sector tonight. So get ready, honey. All right. We're, we're going to talk about Cat Williams and T.G. Jakes tonight. It's, it's official. Are y'all ready for that? So FYI, number one, me and pre-recorded videos, we have a love-hate relationship. I've started this thing up five times. When I go live, it's like, boom, bow, bam, bam, bam. Like, like Cat Williams said, I love Cat. Shout out to Cat. We need more Cat, y'all. We, we, get Cat on the line. Cat said you set up a joke. It's like one of those jokes that you set up, but then afterwards you just hit him with the punchline. Hit him. That's me with live streaming. I set up my equipment. Okay, boom, bow, bam, and then I go live, and then you got you can't take it back. I mean, you can you can come back and retract and say, okay, I messed up, or in that moment correct yourself. But it's one stop, one stop hit a quitter. Okay, and I come off the cuff, boom. But anyway, but pre-recorded videos, you gotta look right, you gotta look your best in the camera, and you gotta, you know, put my earpiece in, and and you start off, and it's like that, that's not right. Start over. A lot. Anyway, happy Tuesday to each and every one of you all. Welcome to the backup channel of Cocktail Hour with Catrice. I'm so happy that you all are here. And let me just tell you all what we are, we're going to shift gears for tonight. Kelly Price is off the docket. I can't. I just, I can't. Um, love Kelly. Love her music. Love her down. But we're still trying to figure out what was going on with Kelly when she, when she disappeared for like eight, well, she popped up married, so we know that was a man. My stomach is growling. Kelly was laid up. Breaking news. Kelly Price was laid up with a man. Big effing deal. Like, nobody cares. <clears throat> but anyway, now she's trying to expose the church. I'm like, girl, I do that every week. Well, I don't expose, per se. I just, I commentate about it. Maybe some stuff I do expose. And my Patreon. Because I can't put everything out here. All right. Subscribe to the Patreon, by the way, child. Just go in over there get you some tea. Sit and look and sip slow. All right. So, with that being said, uh, we're going to shift gears for tonight because here's what, let me tell you how God deals with me. And this is why I'm glad that I changed my recording date from like early in the week to like Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. And I have to do research. I'm not a con I'm not a content creator that just gets online and just runs my mouth. It might seem that way because I have incitement, but I that's not what I do. Yesterday, while I was home listening to con to content, I listened to a lot of content. I like I like to work and listen to content. That's my that's my 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 jam. I love listening to content while I'm working. Like I could do two things at one time. So what ended up happening was, <clears throat> excuse me. I was listening to one video, and you all know how YouTube says you know like they suggest another video. They suggested this channel called RRG, and I've been following them for quite some time. I love how she does voiceovers along with content, funny stuff, whatever. And so I was like, okay, this has something about Eddie Long on it. Top of hot shot to fear. Well, I said, oh my God. Wait a minute. So and mind you, the video had been posted the day before. So I said, okay, hold on for a second. Check this out. I need to look into this. So I listened to the video because it was, okay, a day before. <clears throat> so then I listened, took my notes, I stopped the video, sent some stuff to the producers and the and the the wise council, and then I kept listening. And there's one person we're gonna talk about him tonight that has to do with both of these situations. Like he's in the middle, honey. Okay. So then, you know, I do my I, I record the video from yesterday that I posted this morning, and then I went out, you know, I like to go out a little bit or whatever, I like go out tonight with my friend. So then I said, hmm, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Eddie Long, T.D. Jakes. Okay. Salmon color gym top. Salmon color polo top. Child, God is rewriting history, y'all, right before our eyes. So then I go to bed. Okay, I, I took a, I went to, let me, I woke up late this morning. I am late to the party this morning. So I wake up. To all these messages in my inbox. 
I mean, and talk about my cell phone, not my, not my DM. I haven't even checked my DM today, Joe. I don't even want to check that. On my, the wise council, they text me. So I checked my phone and I'm like, now I had two wise council groups. I did just call everybody the wise council. I had three different videos, including the one that I saw yesterday of Bishop uh, Eddie Long in my phone. I said, okay. Kelly Price is off the docket. She got to go. Um, Kelly, we love you. you sh no, that's, I keep wanting to say you should have known better. That is Monica Katrina. <laughs> but we love Kelly, okay? We love you. But, girl, we don't care about Sunday's best. Kerr Franklin, Erica Kent. We don't care about none of that drama. That is not enough tea for us, honey. We are covering something that is bigger and better. But we love you. <laughs> girl, we love you. Shout out to you. Next, uh, we're talking about the bishop. And let me just say this again. Let me just reiterate this to you all. I cannot stand. <clears throat> I was actually over it back in October, December. I'm talking about Bishop T.D. Jakes. I was done. Because when God gave us the prophetic word on October 17th and my Patreon and December the 3rd, honey, when I delivered that, I was over it. I said, all right, I know what's getting ready to come. I didn't prepare right. That's my fault. But I knew what was coming. We, we good over here. We a Gucci bandana, honey. Okay, we're going to move on. I was done talking about them months ago. I'm definitely done finished talking about Cora Jakes. But because Michelle does not have her son, we're going to keep talking about her. But baby, we could care less. I want them to prosper and be of good health, even as their soul prospers, which is scripture. I want them to have all the money, the finances, the, whatever they want in the world. Just get these kids back, child. Like, we ain't got time. I had a dream about them. I had a dream about her last night, too, about the children. Very interesting. So... But we're now talking about Bishop T.D. Jakes. He's America's favorite bishop and pastor. Uh, super philanthropist. You know, he, he has six different entities connected to him business-wise. The man is a genius. Okay, he knows how to make a dollar. Shout out to Carlton Pearson for putting him on. God rest his soul. All right. But can nobody say that Bishop T.D. Jakes is not a genius? He is. This is what I'm going to say, though, respectfully. There's way too many similarities in regards to this, even stuff that y'all don't even know about, that I know in regards to this Eddie Long, T.D. Jake situation. It's like, why don't I just come up with the truth early? I, like, I can't. But anyway, so um, we're gonna I'm going to prepare for that. Okay, I've already listened to the commentary. I'm going to just take some last minute notes. I have a lot of calls to make today after I leave the gym. I'm, I'm late. <clears throat> and we're going to move forward. Talking about, uh, tonight we're going to be talking about Bishop Eddie Long, Bishop T.D. Jakes. And we're going to cover um, uh, Manasseh. Y'all pray for the young man of God too. He, is, You can tell that he's really struggling with this. And I, I don't think that he has told us everything. I think that there's way more that he has not shared. And you can tell, I, like it's written all over his face, that he is really struggling with um, the situation. So y'all pray for the young man of God. And so y'all stop blessing over the man too. Okay, yeah, he fine. But, tuh, okay, focus. Thank God my pastor told me when I was when I was young, she said, don't get involved with these men. Not like ever, but just, you know, in the ministry. I can separate the man from the, from the anointing. Now, I can't, be under his ministry. I know my limit now. Okay? You cannot be my mind of God. You you can only be somebody that I listen to on the line. I can't. I cannot serve under you, sir. Absolutely not. That's probably that's part of the problem with the women of God. Y'all get so wrapped up in these men. And then you start serving and you're like, then you lusting. God I mean, hey, we're we're human. It's okay to it's okay to lust at the right time. Ain't none of my business. But <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, y'all get ready for tonight. We're going to be talking about Bishop uh, Eddie Long, Bishop T.D. Jakes, and uh, Prophet, the young Prophet of God, uh, Manasseh Jordan, who has allegedly, uh, he hasn't really announced, it was announced through Larry, that he might be, he's too file. He has not yet filed. He is too file about, uh, against Bishop T.D. Jakes. I, I want to know what it's about. Like, I am so interested in knowing, like, how this is going to pan out and, and what he's going to do because this is not a person that needs the money. He has money. He doesn't need the money. The person that needs the money, 
<clears throat> like Christian Keys, y'all, y'all pray for him too, child. Cause I was watching Make It Make Sense yesterday. Shout out to the to the Wise Council. The Wise Council sent me uh, a video for Make It Make Sense, and he ha apparently has a source that told him that allegedly that there may may have been a payoff. Child, we ain't got time. Christian went on the Christian got on the line on December the fifteenth, drinking. Got bashed. I can't drinking. I can't talk because I've done that before too. <laughs> but and spilled the beans and basically put a dog whistle out for whoever this man is. We don't know if it's Tyler or the Allen man. You did a dog whistle for these for this man, and now now you quiet. You put us through hell. You put us through hell with you, and now you have nothing to say. Ah, shut. I can't. So anyway. Listen, I mean, we, you know, we might we might bring him into it too because there's a lot of we got we might put in Cat Williams too because Cat is Cat is everything. Oh yes, Cat. Listen, Cat is me. The for the people that's been talking, for the people that don't mind being direct and saying what it is and calling stuff out. We don't listen. We were not surprised. We weren't moved about Cat doing that because we're just like that's isn't that what we're supposed to do? Like cry loud, man, not right. Which y'all so shocked about the Cat Williams is out here? That's the problem with black people, though. I love us, though. I love my people, but we don't. We don't like to talk about nothing. We like to be entertained. We like to have fun, but we do not like discussing and covering the truth, or truth as he sees it, or people talking about it in that manner. They want to sweep it, just sweep it. Just, shh, shh, just don't say nothing. Uh, no, I will. I will speak. You don't have to like it, but I'm going to talk. So anyway. I love you guys. I will see you all tonight. If you are new here, please hit that like, that share, that subscribe. If you're new to me, consider subscribing here and on my main channel, Cocktail Hour with Catrice. Text the word cocktails to 833-495-4371. That's 833-495-4371 to get a text before I go live today or well, this evening. All right? I'll see you soon. I love you all. Be good. We're going to put Cat on the line. Cat, cat's coming on the line. Listen, he's not church, but he mentioned T. He t